super excited about this video because in this video, we're gonna head into Ikea because Ikea has some of the greatest stuff that we have found for RV storage, organization, small living, and they've got some new stuff that is coming out right now and we're gonna check it out and probably pick up some more stuff for the RV, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. So we are here at Ikea and I have got some stuff on my list today. There are newer items for Ikea that I want to pick up while we're here. And I've got something that I'm gonna show you a little bit more towards the end just because of where it's located in the store. But this is one thing that I've gotten from Ikea. I'm gonna pick up a few more today that I have found really make our RV feel more like a home and less like a camper. So I'm excited to show you that too. All right, so this is the first time that I have seen these at Ikea, but we've kind of talked about these before, and that is having some sort of shorter extension cord, but with multiple outlets. In an RV, the outlets that they have placed in there are just kind of few and far between, and at least in our experience, they're always like in the most inconvenient location, and you don't ever need something that's super long as far as an extension cord. So this is a two pack for only eight bucks, but you get three, outlets with one of these and we actually use a short extension cord like this for where our coffee pot is in the rv so these are super handy definitely pick some of these up for rv life so i know this is going to absolutely sound ridiculous at first but these little bowls, now these are really meant for like kids. They're in the kids section of Ikea. But what I have found is we used to use these for our kiddos. I got rid of them as our kiddos got older where we didn't really need the kid proof stuff. But I found a few that we had just kind of as stragglers when we first started RVing. These work so well because they're smaller, they have a small footprint, they nest together. They're perfect for like cereal and oatmeal and like fruit and all of these things. They're plastic, they're not gonna break. Super easy to store away because of the small footprint. So I'm actually gonna pick some of these up specifically for the RV because they work perfect in there for all of our eating stuff. So where are the parklas? Should be somewhere in here. It's like a treasure hunt. I'm on the hunt for parkla. Ah! Who's gonna win? Dinosaur A or Dinosaur B? And the winner is... Dinosaur A! So one thing that we have for our RV is this bath rug. It's called the Toft Boat. So these are $10, but one of the reasons I really like these is because they're so easy to wash. So machine washable, they do have like some backing on it to keep it from slipping, but it's not like super heavy rubber where it's not easy to wash, nice neutral color and super good price for only 10 bucks. So this is actually one of my favorite things at Ikea and that is the scub or the scoob. I'm not sure how you pronounce it since it's all Swedish, but anyway, I actually have three of these that I use in our RV for all of the kids' clothes and it slides underneath of their bunk beds. Now, what I like about this is it has a zipper top and so with a zipper top, it keeps out things like animal hair since we travel with our pets, dust, dirt. When you are traveling in an RV, you're gonna be going to different places and some of those places could be more dusty and dirty than others. So it's nice when you have a storage system, especially when you're thinking about clothing or blankets, any Anything that you want to keep somewhat clean and dust free to have that zipper on it. So this is one of my favorite things about Ikea and that is all of these bins. Now these are definitely better quality bins than the ones that you find at the Dollar Tree and we have these bins from Ikea all over our RV. So we've got these smaller ones, we've got these larger ones, these fit great in cabinets, in the fridge, in pantry areas, just you name it. These are great for organization. It keeps things from moving around, especially on travel days, but it also helps to keep things organized because I like to 
to use these in our pantry area, pull them out, you can see what's there, put it back, just helps keep things nice and organized. Now we have talked more about these. We've shown a lot more of these from Ikea in a few other videos we have done from Ikea. So I'm gonna put those at the end of this video and you can check out some other amazing Ikea finds. So here is a new bin that I've not seen at Ikea before, but this is the Grunvat net. And uh, it actually says it's a rinsing tub, but I think this would work great is a bin in the RV. And you could really use this for so many things. Pantry comes to mind with all of your boxes of crackers or chips or something like that, but lots of uses for this and 10 bucks. So that's a great deal. This is a fun find. I actually use this in our RV. So I have this sitting on the counter and I put like our dish brush in here and our dish soap in here. And this keeps it from rolling around or moving around on travel days. I can take this off of the counter, set it in the sink for travel days if I need to. But in our RV, this actually doesn't really move once I set it on the counter. So this is only $4 and super nice organized way to just keep your dish stuff where it needs to be. So another thing that is great about Ikea for RV life and just tiny living is some of the furniture they have. Now this Minky desk, we have seen so many of our RV friends actually put this desk in their RV for a workspace. And so we have this exact same desk in an area at our hideaway home base because it works really well for a small space there as well. So one of the things is just that smaller footprint and Ikea is a great place to come find those types of furniture pieces. So I saw this portable Mala case and I thought, oh my goodness, this is great for travel families because this is something where it has a zipper on the back and you can put like just your coloring books in here or activity books, your pencils, your pens, but then it has a hard surface on this side. So your kiddos have a drawing surface, why this sits on your lap. Perfect for your traveling family on those travel days, but also if you're doing air travel, just if you are a travel family in general with smaller kiddos especially, this is a great idea. I'm on the hunt for Parkla. It's not there. Parklas, I need the Parklas. Oh, there's some more bins. Oh, 99 cents for these bins. Wow, look at how cute this is. Little cup bin things. You could even put the little cup bins in here and then like organize your little your little things and that's cute. This is cheaper than the Dollar Tree. Like with the Dollar Tree increasing their prices to $1.25, you gotta be careful because like I've already found a few things here cheaper than at the Dollar Tree. So just make sure that uh, you price compare nowadays. But the park list, we're still looking for the park list. I found them. Oh, but first look at this. We actually use this Torquus. It's only 10 bucks, but this works so good for shoes. So we have this sitting by the front door of the RV and then all of the shoes just go in here when you come in the RV and it, it works great. So shoe storage there. Okay, here's the Parkless. Parkless. <gasps> here's the shoe Parkla. Do they have the big Parkla? Please tell me they have the big Parkla. They're supposed to have it in stock. So this is the new shoe Parkla. But this is perfect because this is a nice zipper pouch that you can use to put, this one's specifically for shoes, especially if you do travel by airplane at all. This is nice to keep shoes in. But I am wanting the other Parkla. Let's see if it's on this side. Where is the other Parkla? Come on, Ikea, don't fail me, don't fail me. Oh, this is new, the Dimpa. It's like a giant 
parka in a way, but look at this. Blankets, like all sorts of winter coats. That's the other thing when you're in an RV. A lot of times if you're full time and you have things that are seasonal for one season, you will put that away while you're using things for the other season. And so things like this that you can use to store coats and hats and bigger things that you're just not gonna use all the time, but has a zipper on it, keeps the dust off and everything. This is super handy. Oh my gosh, Ben, you have to come look at this. You have to come see this. This is amazing. Look at this. Yeah, it's an Ikea bag hat. And look, they have, they have like mini Ikea bags now. You know how I love the big Ikea bags? Well, this is the Bratsby. And now you can get your little mini Ikea. This is like, oh, it's like an Ikea lunch bag with your Ikea hat. And you can just go down to the beach with your little Ikea. See, I keep my quarters in this. Little Ikea Knolig, Knolig. Oh my gosh, I, I finally, finally found it, found it. The now, I actually am using one of these already in the RV for things like extra blankets and pillows that I have stored under our bed. The last time that I came here, these were out of stock. They were very, very popular, but they're only $1.99 and they have a nice zipper cover over the top. So I'm picking up a couple of these while we were here because these come in so stinking handy and they're so inexpensive. So. You just can't go wrong using these for organization. All right, this is kind of funny. This is just like a shoe thing. It's first supposed to be for shoes, right? But all I think it's like some sort of hamster cage or something with the screens on it. I could see our kiddo putting their stuffed animals in here and playing like that's their enclosure or something like that. It's hilarious. This is super cute, this little traveler sign. And then I was looking at this, it's super lightweight, so it'd be really easy to hang up with just some screws or nails, but you don't always wanna put screws in your RV wall. So these Alfta adhesive hooks, I'm gonna give these a try and we'll see how they work. But this little traveler sign, oh my gosh, I just have to put this in the RV because that's really embodies what we do and why that we do it. This is the one thing that I was telling you about earlier that I feel like really makes an RV feel more like a home, and that is when you can have some greenery. So I love the artificial plants that they have here at Ikea, and I like artificial for multiple reasons, but probably the biggest one being I don't have to worry about keeping it alive. I'm trying to keep kids and pets and other things alive. I don't have to worry about the plant keeping that alive as well. But also if it gets knocked over, it's not full of dirt and water and just all of those things that then complicate when you're traveling. So I'm gonna pick up a few more today because they just make the RV feel so much more like home and they're really inexpensive and they look great. So I already have this exact one and then I just have it in like a bucket thing. So I wanted to look and see, I know that they have some that are more like the hanging style. So find some that are more the hanging style. These hanging style ones are just so super cute. So I'm gonna get a couple of these and these are less expensive than the ones that I've seen at Hobby Lobby too. And they're artificial, I can't kill them. So these plant pots, the bint G's, these work perfect. So you can stick your little plants in here. These are only 79 cents. Now the cool thing about this is you could get something similar like this at the Dollar Tree, but then it's a dollar 25. So 79 cents, and these look amazing. Just look how cute this is gonna be. Look at that. I just love how this is gonna look. Oh my gosh, love it. So we'll get three bench G's for 79 cents. And then there we go. This is gonna spruce things up. It's just gonna make it feel a lot more homey. You have the Somar Flatter or the Somar Vind. It's either the Vind or the Flatter. Those are your varieties. The Flatter or the Vind. But this is genius, absolutely genius. So it's a pop-up 
like wind shelter. So look at this and talk about like perfect for RVing because this is nice and compact, fits in a storage area, super nice. And it literally, I can see there's like instructions in here, but it just pops up. So it turns into this, which if you're wintering Florida beach, genius, absolutely genius. So one thing I always like to do when I come to Ikea is go look at the as is or AKA the scratch and dent section. I have found some pretty good deals in there before. So let's go check it out and let's see if they've got anything today. Nothing we needed today in the scratch and dent section, but it's always good to check out. I have found some bargains in there before, but it can be hit and miss, but I always like to look. Where's the home one? a bucket hat. Trinity's gonna love this too, by the way. She's gonna think that's the best thing ever. Let's do it. Alright. Mmm. Don't mind if I do. Treats. Cool. Thank you. Look at that. Mm. So good. How is it? What does it taste like? Cinnamony. Warm. Not too chewy, soft, dope. not really doughy, pastry-like. Mm. So good. So you'll have to let us know in the comments below what products that you have found from Ikea that have been helpful for RV life, or maybe not even from Ikea, but just products in general that you have found help you to stay organized while you're out there traveling and living RV life. We want to know, but you can also let others in the RV community know as well by leaving your comments below. We'll put a link up here for a couple of other videos that we have done with great IKEA finds, stuff we didn't cover today, but stuff that's great for RV life. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, or hey, you never know, maybe at IKEA. We'll see you in the next video. That's a good idea. <laughs> So it's like four bucks a piece, but a piece. We have these literally all over RV. We have this size. All over what? RV? RV, all over our RV. All over our RV. <laughs> over our RV. Say our RV five times fast, and then let me know how you do. In a foot. Yeah. They're all Fedgkas. Seriously, they're all called Fedgka. Fedgka. There's this Fedgka, there's that Fedgka. They're all some sort of variety of Fedgka. I wonder if Fedgka means like fake plant in Swedish. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? It's how they say fake in Swedish. How they say fake. Fedgka. So nothing that we didn't need today. Nothing that we didn't need. Does that sound right? Is that even how you would say that? Nothing we needed today. Nothing we needed. Yeah. <laughs>